A plain old brick or concrete pathway can seem boring and cost a pretty penny to construct. Instead, for a more organic appearance, you might make a lovely walkway by placing ground cover between stepping stones. These low-growing, mat-forming plants can withstand modest foot traffic, and what's more, some species even exude a pleasant scent whenever you walk by. Number one, blue star creeper. Blue star creeper, or Laurentia fluviatilis, is a lovely plant that can brighten up shady areas of your garden. This charming ground cover produces an abundance of star-shaped flowers in the spring and early summer, which are pale blue in color. For areas where turf grass won't thrive due to too much shade, you can use it as a substitute lawn. Assuming it gets watered regularly, it can withstand light foot activity. Number two, Creeping Jenny. Because its golden leaves look like coins, it is commonly called moneywort. A spot with moderate foot traffic, such the space between stepping stones, is ideal for Creeping Jenny allowing it to cascade beautifully over stone walls or the edges of mixed planters or window boxes is another strategy for controlling this prolific spreader. Late in the spring, Creeping Jenny also blooms with its exquisite butter yellow blossoms. Number three, Portulaca. It's a hardy plant that thrives in sunny areas and has a knack for spreading itself by seeding itself in random spots. The creep paper flowers are available in a rainbow of hues. The needle-like, verdant leaves of a portulaca plant will pop back into place if you tread on it. Although it is typically cultivated as an annual in areas prone to frost, this drought-tolerant ground cover may withstand periods of drainage. Number four, Scotch moss. Scotch moss, scientifically known as Sagina sebulata, may not seem like it can withstand much foot activity at first look. However, stepping on this golden moss causes it to rebound immediately. Also in the spring, scotch moss gets a lovely covering of little white flowers. Proper hydration is essential, especially in the hot summer months, for this walking ground cover plant. Number five, dwarf mondo grass. Planting masses of dwarf mondo grass, which forms little clusters of bright green foliage, along the patio or path is truly awe-inspiring. Also, it doesn't require much maintenance to appear nice. All it needs is a short shearing in the spring to promote new growth following the winter. Plus, the plant's moderate growth rate means it won't quickly become an unmanageable nuisance. Number six, snow in summer. A pile of spreading silver-gray foliage is topped by enormous drifts of small white blossoms in late May and June, produced by snow in summer. In most cases, it won't grow invasive, though it can self-sow. Shear plants after they've flowered to maintain their attractive appearance. Hot and humid summers might be bad for snow in summer since it likes cooler weather. Number seven, Mazus. Mazus, sometimes known as cup flower, is an evergreen plant that produces a profusion of lavender-like flowers in late spring atop a dense mound of verdant foliage. It may only reach a height of three inches, but its ground covering impact is substantial. You can walk lightly on this petite beauty and it will develop rapidly. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. 
Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.